And he bucks on the radio. This is, he says he's going to be on now. Oh, yes, he, he's on the radio. But first, we got to get to our sponsor. Thank you to John Deere for sponsoring the Goldie. Go check out Poland and Sons over in Platteville, Wisconsin, if you're looking for a deer. Nothing runs like a John Deere. And if you're looking for a pickup truck that can get you through anything, well, there's the Ford, there's the Dodge, but you got to be looking at a Chevy. Chevy. Built like a rock. And as promised in the studio today, we got Buck Nielsen. I hear you guys are changing up something on your family farm. Do you want to talk about that? Uh, yeah, Doug. Thanks for having me out here today. We, uh, we decided that with the way the market is going and what uh, just land market values are, we kind of want to move out of state. We're going to be heading out towards... Uh, the great land of Iowa. We're going to be trying to get some of that black topsoil, seeing if we can strike it even richer here in the next coming decade. We did end up selling out a lot of our hogs, as well as but pretty much all of our animals are going to be out and about now. But we are going to be having a land auction, as well as maybe some of the equipment. It's good for you guys. I know the small town, the small town here in Wisconsin, we're going to miss you guys. Well, that was Buck Nelson giving an update on his family farm. Up next. We got the classic 90s song of the week, Closing Time. What were you going to tell me we were selling the farm? I didn't know about this. Well, that's been something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Same with these guys watching. So guys, as you guys probably heard on the radio, just like Nate learned, me and Buck made the executive decision to sell the farm from Wisconsin. We're great-grandparents... His great-grandparents, whoever was before us, started this farm back in 1883. And so, we're going to be moving to Iowa. It'll be the 2000 series. We're going to be selling all the cattle. Actually, we, we did sell all the cattle. Nate doesn't know that. They're getting shipped out. We sold, we're we going to sell the hogs here at market, and then we're going to sell all of our grain. And then some of the tractors we're going to keep, and some we're going to sell because we're going to have an auction. And then all of our land is going to be sold in 1031 exchange over to land in Iowa. 1031 exchanges means we don't have to pay taxes on any of the land we sell and we can re-roll it into farmland over in Iowa. So basically Nate, you get to choose a piece of equipment you want to keep. Buck should be back from the radio station soon I think. I gotta give him a call. I'm, I'm gonna give Buck a call quick. I'll be right back. Hello? Buck, hey, nice job on the radio. Hey, did I do good enough for you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What was Doug like? He was a very interesting fella. Okay. I'll tell you that much. I mean, that's a heck of an announcement to make, and Nate didn't even realize we were selling the farm. Kept that secret pretty well from him. Yeah, I'm surprised my wife didn't decide the amount of stuff she chirps to him in his ear. Yeah. But when are you going to be back from the radio station? Uh, I'm going to run to the town quick and grab just a few bit of groceries, in essence, for the house, and then I should be back. Okay. So it'll be about maybe five, ten minutes. Okay. I think we're going to start getting wagons hooked up and start selling some beans and then sell... We, can you call Chet and get a get a semi out here to sell some hogs? I'll see what I can do. I don't know if he'll pick up the phone or not. Okay. Maybe... I mean, he's got his assistant, too. That... that uh, What's that young kid's name? That certain drive truck? He could maybe get him out here. That's possible. I think its name is Tony. Oh, okay. Wouldn't be bad to get Somewhere Tony out here. There. But we're going to start getting beans sold and then get the cattle sold. Or get the hogs sold, so... I'll be home here in about, like I said, 15, 20 minutes more now since got a little stuck behind. But yeah, I'll be I'll be home accordingly. Well, you side what tractor? It's a cough up. I either want the farm mall with the bucket on it or I want this. <laughs> See, the farm mall is a classic piece of machinery, but this, I mean. We could bring the farm mall and keep the farm mall a sentimental value. I feel like, I mean, dad I started, he started farming on that farm mall. We could, we could take that. We could, we could, we'd take two. Okay, we're going to have to get Chet to haul this thing. That'll work good. And then... i got to make a decision what tractor we're keeping. Hey, just don't do those cases. We'll be fine. Okay, so we sold all of our cattle already. Got that sold. And then also we have some more hogs to sell. But we got these sold also in here. And so that's why we have $270,000 now. And we still have one more load of hogs to sell over here. And then we should be good. And then we got grain. So hopefully we can get like close to $400,000 of cash by the time we leave here. Plus, we still got equipment to sell too. So we, we should be pretty good with cash. You going to tell them about why we got this uh, lime over here on the ground? 
You want to tell them what well, Uncle Buck did? Well, somebody made a spill, and it's still sitting here. We should probably spread it, but our spreader is now gone. So we got the Magnum out, and I'm going to get this hooked up to the wagons here. We're going to hook it up to the Brent wagons, and then I think Nate's going to get hooked up to the other set of wagons. And we have 3,600 bushels of grain to haul, and then hopefully we can get those hogs sold over there. Most of these implements are getting sold, pretty much everything, even the wagons. Combines, I know the combines are for sure getting sold, so we're gonna have to buy a lot of new stuff once we get to Iowa. But some of this stuff is gonna stay. Nate's getting the 8400 loaded, and I'll pull behind him. Make sure you shut that auger off when it's full. Oh, I will. Hey, beans, uh, oh, you full? Okay, yeah, yeah, don't fun. hit the shed. It's not as fun if I don't hit something, okay? Do you want to eat tonight? Because your money's gonna go, you're gonna be broke, man. I spend bucks money to eat, y'all don't pay me enough. Okay, we're gonna pull under here, get these wagons full, start filling. Soybeans, we got a lot of soybeans still to haul out. Okay, the front one's full, topping off the back, and I think I see Buck somewhere over there. I was driving his Trans Am. Grant, you still up by the bins? Yeah. I say, I just went and grabbed some stuff out of the shop quick. I'm gonna grab uh, the Ram, and then I'm gonna take our flatbed so I can get the 5020 loaded up and strapped down. Uh, Chet says he is gonna send Tony out. He's, Chet's just not doing so hot. Okay. He says he's doing fine, but he's, he's, in the just, hospital, he's having a hard he? time. He's back in there now. Ah, shoot. We'll have to visit him on our way out of town. He's, he's fine, like, actually, but it's just like, oh, nursing home, I think, is actually where he's at. He's doing okay. He's just, he can't see straight anymore. Okay. Well, it looks like Nate's dumping, and I think we started at, like, 260000 We're going to get a lot per load because these beans are pretty high priced here in March. Basis is good, and uh, we're going to get a lot of money coming in. Yeah, 33000 for a load like him. So that means I'll get like 65000 for these two wagons. We'll pull through, get the first one unloaded, get the second one, and we're dumping. And they're empty. $67,000. Oh, got so excited to pull out my chainsaw. Okay, Nate is already left with another load, and I think I should be able to fit the rest of the beans on my wagons. In 140 years of farming, this will be the first time, I think, that these bins will not be used, depending on if the person who purchases this farm is gonna use them or not. And second one is like three quarters full. That is it. We are out of beans. Oh, great, y'all see me for a second? Yep, just getting to the elevator. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and you empty the rest of this stuff out of the auger, right? Yeah, yeah, it's all done. She's all empty. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put her up and put her on the side so we can go ahead and sell them. Okay, sounds good. There we go, we're gonna have a good amount of money after this. And there we go, $55,000. Okay, come on, come on back. Come, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Did you turn the back in to get out of the way? You're good right there. You're good right there. Come on, come on, Jared. Get up there. Get up there. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so we got the rest of them that aren't loaded up. We're gonna contract sell, and then Tony's gonna come back and take another and bring a couple more loads here. So we're gonna contract sell these. I think that all got them all loaded up. So you need me to do anything else? Should be good. Drive safe. All right, sounds good. Uh, thank you, sir. I'll make sure I talk to Chet for you. Get you a nice little update on him. Last I knew, he was doing very, very well. Okay, there's a... Still doing well. There, in case you're interested, there's a pizza and lasagna shop, like, two miles up the road, if you're interested. Ah, yes, yes. I've, I've actually uh, had that before. That's a very good place. Very good. Okay, we'll see you, Tony. We'll see you now. Bye-bye now. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so I'm not sure what they want to keep. This Kinsey grain cart is a perfect grain cart. So we, I don't know, I got to talk to Buck on that if we want to keep the, the Kinsey grain cart. But all the combines are going. Most of these implements are selling. So we're going to get stuff lined up for the sale. Like pretty much everything in here besides the, yeah, besides the 706 is going to be, uh, is going to be sold on auction. So everything we're keeping, I'm going to take up to the front yard. And then everything we're selling, I'm going to bring down to this yard. I think that's how we're going to split them. And I know Nate said he wanted to keep this. I really think that's a good call to keep this tractor. Oh, it looks like Tony got the animals sold. He made it there. That's good. I got to talk to Buck to see what we're keeping. I don't think we're going to keep this quad track. I think this is going to go on auction, most likely. I know we're going to keep that new hole in, so I'm going to take the quad track back down to the yard. Quad track's going inside. Both of the gleaners are going to be sold also. Well, 
unfortunately, I don't think we can bring too many tractors. The 47, it's probably one of my favorite tractors, but I'm going to bring the Magnum. And so I think we're going to put this up on an auction. Nate, you want to take this down? Yeah, I'll take it down. Hey, just remember, if we want one in the future, we can just buy it later today. Yeah, but there's sentimental value. I mean, I spent a lot of hours in there. But yeah. yeah. Gosh, that's a dang good tractor. Just sucks to see it go. And then also the 8400 is going to be sold too. So these wagons are going to get sold. We may buy some once we get to Wisconsin. It's just we can't, br or once we get to Iowa, it's just we can't bring everything with us. So these wagons are most likely going to get sold too. So these are the tractors we're bringing. And Nate's bringing the 806 and Buck's bringing his truck. But this is what we're keeping. This and then everything else we're going to just have to buy there once we get to town. I hear there is a John Deere dealer. Might be a case dealer. And I think there's a truck dealership in town also. We're kind of mixed colors, but this is going to work perfect. We're going to get loaded up, get everything else off to auction, and sad to see, but we're on to better things. I